let me ask you, how did you get the the dental practices that you're working with now? How did you get those? Um, word of mouth and one of them was my dental, my actual dentist. Okay. So you said word of mouth. What does that look like? Um, just referrals from friends and, and one of them, yeah, for referrals from friends. Okay. Sounds good. I have these meetings with new members and it's just a really good way for me to kind of like see like where you're coming from, where your business is starting at, and really just kind of give you a, you know, kind of like a 30,000 foot overview of what the program looks like. I started this entrepreneurial journey at the tender age of 21 years old. I've had a multitude of businesses, non-emergency medical transportation, I had a cleaning business, I had a credit repair business, I was a real estate agent, and then finally a tax and accounting firm. And I've spent tens of thousands of dollars just trying to really figure out how to effectively market my services, how to get a client consistently. I mean, I spent money on billboards, radio ads, flyers, mailers, every door direct mail. I mean, I did cold calling, door knocking, and endless networking, and I still was broke. And I went on this journey to really figure out why my marketing campaigns didn't work for me. You know, I was really doing and I was imitating what the big brands were doing in the industry, but I wasn't getting big brand results. And I really fell into a deep depression. I remember sitting on the side of my bed, I had a dozen books around me, and I was trying to read about sales and marketing from some of the top gurus in the industry. And I was trying to figure out my problem. I was trying to figure out you know, the secret to sales and the secret to marketing to where I can get clients consistently and grow my business. I was out of cash. I was facing eviction. My car was repossessed. And I couldn't even afford to buy a cup of coffee one morning. Seriously, one of the darkest times of my life. The ability to get clients and grow my business seemed to elude me. I was on this constant hamster wheel with no real consistency. I didn't know how to get a lead outside of paying for one. I didn't know how to nurture the leads I was getting and convert them into a paid client. I didn't know how to communicate value to prospects so they'd stop price shopping and comparing my services to the next. I didn't know how to differentiate myself from the mass sea of competitors in the marketplace. I didn't know how to effectively speak to a prospect that led to them wanting to work with me and become a client. And I didn't know how to deliver a world-class experience for the clients I did get. And I definitely didn't know how to price my services for maximum revenue. Going back to corporate America and getting a job was a daily thought, but I couldn't do it. I knew I had to figure out how to grow a million dollar business. And in 2020, we did just that. We are on track to hit over $1.5 million in revenue. We are impacting and inspiring tens of thousands of people from all over the country. People that now have clarity where there was once confusion around how to get a client consistently, how to effectively market their services. And we are enrolling hundreds of students in our programs each and every day and giving them the handholding, the accountability, and the mentorship that they need to build multi six-figure firms. You see, there's a misconception that you always have to be closing in order to get clients consistently. And I've changed the paradigm. I want you to change your methodology to always be connecting. This is a unique methodology that we use to get clients with effort, with ease, that actually feels good to you and your prospect. And here are the three keys to success that I wanna leave you with. Key to success number one, you have to up-level your mindset. I couldn't reach the level of success that I've had today until I worked on my mindset. I had to really break and hone in on some of the limiting beliefs that I had about myself. You know, I had limiting beliefs that I was a minority woman, so I wouldn't attract other minorities. I had limiting beliefs that the fact that I was a woman, period, that I couldn't play in the male dominating industry. I had limiting beliefs that because I grew up, you know, middle class, and some might even consider poor, that I couldn't really work with or work well with people who were rich. I had all of these limiting beliefs about myself that was prohibiting me from really stepping into my true potential, really allowing me to serve to my highest capacity. And when I started systematically breaking those limiting beliefs down and reframing them and telling myself a different story, that's when I started to really experience massive success. 
So what I want to tell you is that I want you to reframe the limiting beliefs that you have about yourself. So right now, instead of me thinking that me being a minority is a hindrance, it's actually my superpower. By me being a woman, instead of that being a limiting idea, that's actually one of my key attributes. It's one of my unique abilities that I have. So you can right now use what you think is holding you back. Use your insecurities as your superpowers and change the stories that you're telling yourself. Number two, stop trying to get rich and instead give value. Your income will be in direct proportion to the value that you create and deliver to the marketplace. It's really about having a mission bigger than yourself. Our financial return is a result to our service that we deliver. So stop looking for something for nothing. Success is not a result of earning money. Earning money is a direct result of the value created. Secret to success number three is a little bit more tactical. You have to have your unique ACE methodology. The A stands for attract, your ability to attract ideal clients from all over the country and how to communicate that value that we just spoke about. The C stands for connection, your ability to effectively communicate and connect with prospects over the phone or through social media channels that leads to them actually wanting to become a client. And lastly, the E is for engage, your ability to engage your prospects as a paid client and collect money and onboard them or engage and follow up and nurture the relationship. So if you're a service-based business and you're really looking to get clients consistently and really have a cohesive sales and marketing strategy, I created a free Millionaire Mastermind Masterclass. In this masterclass, I take you step-by-step -step through the same strategies that I've used to consistently close over $83,000 per month in revenue. You're gonna learn about mindset, money, and ultimately your mission, your biggest purpose in life. So if you're looking right now to grow your business to the multiple six figures and seven figure level, this Millionaire Mastermind Masterclass is for you. So click the link below, get registered, and I'll see you soon. My name is Krista Tyus, and I'm here to make your journey easier.